Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Another letter to Max, <sighs> that I'll never send. At least journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. Drugs are free here. <laughs> Man, why didn't anyone tell me before? Blackwell's criminal element strikes again. Better go before Wells pins it on me. I guess these stage lights are for the Tempest. Hmm. What could the Tempest use more of? All that's left is to get arrested. But whenever I needed to bum one, no one here smokes. Fuck this place. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. Elliot and I have gone to school together since we were in kindergarten. Until today. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? Let's not make a big deal out of this. Oh, sorry. Right, yeah. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess, did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, 
what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Oh, right. Good call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? Yeah. I mean, I'm not really big on making plans, but maybe. Cool, cool. Uh, sounds, sounds good. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Uh, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. Max would have loved this shit. Three guesses whose bike this is, and they all start with Miss Grant. Damn. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Wells' car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. Uh, okay. Yeah. Bye. Elitist Blackwell bird. At least I'll have uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again. If I feel like it. Piss head much? That has to be Skip's car. My other vehicle is drama. <clears throat> That's what they do best here at Blackwell. Empty things out and toss them aside. It's about damn time. David, please. Mom is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment. Which, of course, just makes this worse. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? How to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me. Your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the... incident 
yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me. Swore at me. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you can't be serious. David and I have discussed it, and we feel this is the only way for us all to have a fresh start. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? I forgive you. You were under a terrible influence. I just worry about you, but that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Mom, I... I, I know I fucked up. I, I'm a fuck up. I'm sorry. Are you sorry? You don't even know what you're apologizing for. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you, and you need me, and I know that. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. 
She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over.